This quick leftover curry is a weeknight favorite in my house for a few reasons. One, it's a great way to use leftover chicken or turkey that you may have around. Two, it's a great way to get more veggies into your diet. And three, it's a fabulous way to learn how to use herbs and spices in all their forms. Now, although we're using chicken here, if you're a vegetarian, you can make it using extra firm tofu or some grilled tempeh. Um, you can serve it with brown rice, or um, I like to serve it sometimes at home like a noodle dish with, with uh, Thai rice sticks, which are very easy. Now, the vegetables involved in this are really pretty simple, pretty basic indeed. We've got cabbage. This is a, a savoy cabbage. You can tell by the curly leaves. Um, carrot. Now, I'm kind of liking these big carrots when I'm when I'm having to cook a julienne, which is a thin way of slicing because they're more stable. They still taste good though. Garlic. You'll find that in a lot of things we have on Cook for Your Life. And um, some ginger. We're going to use about an inch of this. This is root ginger, so you can see it's kind of a gnarly thing about that much, and a little serrano pepper. Now these are quite hot, but you can use a jalapeno pepper if you prefer, which is a little bit milder. Um, and lastly, but uh, not least, we're going to probably put a little bit of hit of uh, lime juice in here just to finish it off. Okay, so I think it's time to get to the stove right now. So we're going to put in now some, some grapeseed oil. It can be any any mild or neutral tasting oil. For extra flavor, you can use coconut oil, but that's a saturated fat, so you need to go easy with that. So it's going to bring that up to a uh, high heat. Now, the first thing we're going to put in uh, is going to be, uh, these are coriander seeds. These are the seeds that cilantro come from. And in fact, we're going to be using cilantro leaves later on. So when this is hot, I'm going to put these in, let them sizzle. Now, the next thing I'm going to be putting in is going to be the ginger. Now, um, the piece of root ginger I showed you earlier on, this is how we've cut it up into little sticks. So this is going in now. And what this is going to do is put flavor into the oil. The coriander is going to put a really mild coriandery taste into it, and the ginger is going to, well, make it gingery. <laughs> okay, let's let this cook a little bit. Sizzling away nicely now. I'm going to put, now this is, last thing here is garlic. These are the last things that are going in to flavor the oil. And flavoring the oil is where you use whole spices like the coriander. Now we're going to let that cook until the garlic gets a pale gold colour. Coriander is used a lot in Indian cooking, both whole seed and ground seeds. And a wok is the best way to cook a lot of quick cooking things like this because you don't need so much oil as with a frying pan. And just keeping it moving around lets it cook quicker. Now you can see that the garlic is starting to get a little bit golden, as is the ginger. And this is about the maximum you want it to get. Can you see how it's going the same color as the coriander? So now we're going to put in the onion, the green, hot green pepper, and the carrot. with a little bit of salt. Until they start to soften, which you can see is happening really fast. One of the benefits of cutting the carrots like this is that they cook very fast in this kind of circumstance. Now we're going to put in the cabbage. Now this is gorgeous cabbage that we saw earlier on. Cut in, we just need to put about half of that in. Now we're just going to cook this down until the cabbage starts to wilt, just like the, the onions have. Now as you can see, everything's just not quite so hot because whenever you have a hot pan and you add something new to it, the temperature goes down. I'm going to put in some ground spices now. 
Now just like the whole spices, the coriander, the ginger and the garlic flavor the oil, the ground spices will flavor the sauce. And you always put in ground spices onto vegetables that you've sauteed, onto vegetables that you're cooking. If you put them straight into the hot fat, they burn. So if you don't have whole coriander seed, but you still want that taste, you put it in now. You do not put them, the ground coriander into the, into the hot oil. So these are the ground spices we're going to put in. We have some mild curry powder, turmeric, which is a fantastic antioxidant, and cayenne pepper to give it a little kick, okay? So this is going in now, whole thing. And we're going to stir that in and mix it up. Now this will obviously cook a little bit as it hits the bottom of the pan. You see how it's now the turmeric in particular and the curry powder are coloring the veggies. Now it's at this point that we're going to put the protein in, in our case chicken. And of course, you know, we're using cooked chicken, but of course you can use fresh chicken if you want to. I'm just going to give it a stir just to get it toasted, coated with the toasted spices. And last but not least, we have coconut milk. This is light coconut milk. It's a little less fat than the regular. Give it a good stir to get everything up off the bottom. Now, at this point too, I've got little treat thing to put in here. These are um, little currants that have been soaked in water. You can use regular raisins if you want. Putting those in with the soak water. These will add just a little bit of sweetness. And it's kind of an option. Okay. So now I'm going to turn the heat down to simmer. and put a lid on it, and then leave it to cook for about 10 minutes. Okay, this has been simmering for about uh, 10 minutes. So let's see, have a look and see how it's coming on. Oh, wow, look at that. Now, to finish it off, this is kind of ready to eat. We're gonna put in some cilantro, which has, been, which has been chopped. If you don't like cilantro, you could put in a mixture of mint and parsley. Just gonna stir that in. This will add brightness and flavor to the very end of the cooking. And last but not least, um, I'm gonna just put, juice, put a bit of lime juice into here. You don't need to, whoops. And this will just lift all of the flavors. Okay. And that's it, that's done, it's ready. Visit our website, cookforyourlife.org, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest.